pictographs. What is meant by pictograph? A pictograph is a representation of data using images or symbols. Let's see pictograph in many real life situations. A simple example is the star rating that is given by customers for items purchased. In the picture above, if it is given that one star is equal to 20 points, then the rating by the customer will be 20 multiplied by 3.5 is equal to 70 out of 20 multiplied by 5 is equal to 100. Let's learn different steps in making a pictograph. Collect the data. First step is obviously collecting the data of the category you want to represent. Select the image or symbol. Pick a symbol or picture that is accurately represents your data. Assign a key. Sometimes the frequency of the data is too high. Then one symbol cannot represent one frequency. Draw the pictograph. Final step is drawing your pictograph. Draw the two columns that represent the category and the data. Review your data and finally review your pictograph and make sure it correctly represents the information that you want to relay. What are the advantages using pictographs? It helps to express large information in a simple way. It is easy to understand. It easily attracts the viewers as it uses attractive images. It does not require a lot of explanation. Let's see first example. The pictograph shows the number of eggs sold by a trader in three days. If the trader still had 115 eggs left after the three days, calculate the number of eggs he had at first. One egg represents 25 eggs. Monday, 3 multiplied by 25 eggs is equal to 75 eggs. Tuesday, 5 multiplied by 25 eggs is equal to 125 eggs. Wednesday, 4 multiplied by 25 eggs is equal to 100 eggs. Eggs remaining is equal to 115. Total number of eggs he had is equal to 75 plus 125 plus 100 plus 115 is equal to 415. The correct answer is C. Eggs sold on the three days. Let's see second example. The line plot below shows how students scored on last week's math test. How many students scored 95 or higher on the test? One star represents one student. We know that one star represents one student. So, students getting 95 marks is equal to 7. Students getting 100 marks is equal to 5. Therefore, students getting 95 or above is equal to 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 students. The correct answer is D. Let's see third example. The following table shows information about the modes of transport used by students to commute to school. One smiley represents three children. Answer the following questions based on the information given above. 1. How many students commute by car? 2. Which is the most commonly used mode of transport? 3. Which is the least preferred mode to reach school? Solution Answer number 1 Number of students who commute by car is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Answer number 2 The bus is the most commonly used mode of transport. Answer number 3 The least preferred mode to reach school is a bicycle. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I am Nihan. Thank you for watching Nihan's World. I'll see you in next videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye till next time.